everyone, it's Epic Underworlds, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a PCG overview of my new game, Trouble in Trumbledon. This game follows the series of Zack's first roundabout with his friends. It follows the main character, Chauncey, who is that little goofy clown from the last game, and you basically have the power of opening portals to Trumbledon. Only this game takes place a few years after, and Trumbledon isn't quite the same. So, yeah, this is the cover. I tried something new, like these are just kind of the main characters, and I just kind of made it foggy, so I think that looks pretty cool. Anyways, let's get right into the first screen. So, Chauncey has decided to open a portal and go back to the office once more, because his friend Moto, that uh, robot, has been captured, and it is up to him to get him back. The only problem is this office does not look quite the same as the previous one. That is because the boss has since gone mad, and all of his employees have run away, thus making the office deserted, and that's why it's kind of creepy. If you go onto the computer, you'll find a little video of all the employees screaming as they try to like run away from the boss. Right there, right there if you notice, that is the little spider. He will basically fill you in as to what has been happening recently. So you gotta somehow get a key. I'm not gonna tell you guys how to beat this puzzle because if, in case you wanna play it. And then once you get the key, you can open the door into the boss's quarters. Inside the boss's quarters, you kinda find his office is pretty ramshackled. His uh, desk is slipped over, same with his chair. There's like markings on the wall, but there is a closet. And if you happen to open that closet, I also do wanna point out, this is a little Easter egg um, when the boss was um, fighting in Trumbledon. Uh, he had a gun there, but now that's all that's left of it. But if you do open that closet, the boss jumps out and he's all going mad and crazy. And uh, you, you can kind of talk to him and figure out that he worked for Gron Oil Inc., which is basically an oil company in the PSG universe that harvests oil from the living moon of Gron Fresnel. And he was just doing good things. And you realize that you really screwed up his whole operation. All of his employees have gone and he's gone mad because of it. So you kind of see his side of the story that he really wasn't that evil. He was just trying to save his company. So you basically got to convince him to go to Trumbledore. I'm not going to tell you how. And then you can open a portal. Once there, you, uh, you're right there and you fall through the portal and uh, you fall into the smokestack. He, the boss goes in this one, and you go in this one. But before we get to that, you can see this is kind of like an overview. Trumbledon, 26 years later. It looks a little post-apocalyptic. There's no, like, happy beings or creatures anymore. Something strange has happened. And if you zoom in here, you can kind of see some strange spiky creatures and there's some tanks and a ton of other factories cr uh, polluting this uh, realm once you fall through the smokestack you get into this room and right away you see that a space ball yes that's right space balls have invaded trumbledon and taken over it um, fully taking over the gran oil inc and you learn that they're building a new fleet go find zach who um, has fought the space balls many times before and now they're after him again right there is a mutated eight ball the reason that it doesn't look like the normal ones is because it was infected with the fig virus which i should probably do a video on that in the future but the fig virus is kind of a thing that's been going on in the pc universe it's mutating creatures the fig virus was started experiment in the gondo wizard's lab and it, and it went terribly wrong <laughs> Never mix a fig with any other creature because it'll end up terribly. But um, you basically gotta get past them. And you could go into this uh, tunnel room and that leads to the escape place. And you can get in one of these uh, Zack hunting ships. Well, obviously you wouldn't hunt Zack, but you would escape through this and get out of Trumbledon. And that uh, leaves a bunch of room for a sequel. So if any of you guys are watching and you wanna make a sequel to this, you know, I think that'd be super cool. Maybe it explores uh, how Trumbledon has been doing after the post-apocalyptic uh, moments and uh, maybe where his journeys take him next. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of that game and I'll see you in the next PCG overview.